Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving out of Kingston and we're on Mandela Highway, which is the main road that takes you out of Kingston and St. Andrew. And it's also the busiest road in Jamaica. As you can see, it's a six lane, or what I would call a super highway because look at how nice the road is. This is the kind of road you'd expect to see in a first world country. So we have to say well done to the government for building this road. Now, when you leave in Kingston and you want to go to Portmore, this is the road you would take. When you leave in Kingston and you want to go to Spanish Town, this is the road you would take. When you leave in Kingston and you want to go on the south coast, this is the road you would take. When you leave in Kingston and you want to get on either of the two major highways, the PJ Patterson Highway which, or the North South Highway, this is the road you would take. So basically, this road is a lifeline to and from Kingston. I always say Kingston, we mean the Kingston and St. Andrew area. So that's why this is the busiest road in Jamaica. And so identifying that the government recently renovated the road, and now you can see we have these six lanes. And even with these six lanes, the volume of people that go to Portmore and Spanish Town daily, there is still some traffic back up on this road during peak hours. That just goes to show how much persons use this road every day. And if you look on the left and the right, you can see there is plenty of space for expansion. So one day this might become an eight lane road. Okay, the left lane now, that would be, the, let's go home. That's the entrance to the PJ Patterson Highway, which is the east-west leg of Highway 2000. Now this highway runs from here on Mandela all the way to Maypen now, to Clarendon. But the road is being expanded, there is construction on the way, so that this highway, the PJ Patterson Highway, will go all the way to Mandeville in Manchester. So again, job well done government is doing an excellent job in fixing these major roads especially the highways okay at this point now the road becomes two lanes I'm not very sure why I'm assuming it's because of this bridge because straight ahead on the left is the entrance to Portmore so you would think you would have three lanes and then a fourth lane as a turning lane and as you can see there is plenty of space for road expansion. However, I suspect it's the bridge why the road becomes two lanes there. And it's two lanes all the way into Spanish Town or to the end of the road. So this intersection where you turn left here and you go into Portmore. So during the afternoon hours, this is a very busy intersection. And that car that just Merged, it, um, it's coming from Portmore. So that's where the Portmore traffic would merge with those Mandela Highway. Okay, now coming up on the right is the entrance to the Edward Siaga Highway, which is the north-south leg of Highway 2000. And this highway runs from Caymanos, which is this area, the Caymanos Toll Plaza, would be the toll plaza when you turn right, all the way to Marmy Bay in St. Anne. So you can see if you want to go on the south coast or you want to go on the north coast, you have to go on Mandela Highway, leaving Kingston and St. Andrew.
still on Mandela Highway, it has become two lanes now. And we're now going towards Spanish Town. Sorry, it's four lanes, two in either direction, more like a dual carriageway. But as you can see, this section of the road was not renovated. I'm sure it will be done soon because this is a very busy road. And it, it's kind of ironic that after you pass the entrance to the two major highways, we have the, that section of the road after you pass the highways um, was not renovated. But I guess everything has to be done in phases. Okay, on the left you have um, a lot of manufacturing plants. You have best dressed chicken. You have Wisinko and you have Lasco. Now, ironically, two of the largest distributors in Jamaica are right beside each other. You have Wisinko and you have Lasco. The only other company that is at that level in terms of distribution and selling goods is probably Grace. So, two of the three are located here. Now, we're now passing the Lasco facility, and wow, it's huge. It was I know they had expanded the warehouse capacity, but I didn't realize it was so big. So we like to see the progress in Jamaica and the Jamaican products going worldwide. So that's a good job, let's go. Okay, we are um, in the central village area now. Still on Mandela Highway. Mandela Highway ends at the roundabout straight ahead. So this is the central village area now. is a pedestrian bridge so that persons can cross safely. Now on the right you can see um, a lot of activity. What happens here is the trucks that sell the goods, they just park up. It's right across from the police station. The police station is on the other side of the road. So the merchants or the, basically the trucks just pull up there and park and persons come to them and buy the goods straight out of the truck. It's, I think it's like a makeshift market. But it's right in front of the police station or the police station is across the road. So relatively safe. Now on the left are some very nice houses. It, they were, it's a housing scheme that was built by the NHT. I'm not sure the name of it but it's a massive development and this is the NHT to come park office and then on the left after we pass there now is another very nice Twickham Garden, Twickenham Glades. Very nice community. It was recently built and it, these are massive housing developments that the NHT has done so like to see the progress good job NHT on the left is the Jose Marta Technical High School okay we're now in the Twickenham Park area and if we had turned left at this at that where we just passed that would take us on to the Spanish Town Bypass but we're taking this exit off the roundabout and going left into Twickenham Park now when you think of Twickenham Park the first thing that pops up into your mind is or the most popular place in Twickenham Park is probably the Police Academy this is where they train police officers it's coming up on the right Official name is the Jamaica Constabulary Force National Police College of Jamaica. Very nice institution. Need more of that for those across the country. 
All right, so we're now driving into Spanish Town. This is the Twickenham Park area. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.